Hey there! I hope everything's going well. In this video, we will talk about the feeding of green iguanas. A crucial factor in ensuring an excellent diet for captive green iguanas is variety, as this guarantees a balanced diet free from nutritional deficiencies and diseases. Even when providing diverse foods, we must give them additional supplements such as vitamins and minerals. In the wild, iguanas primarily feed on dark green leaves, orange and yellow vegetables, fruits, edible flowers, herbs, tender shoots, and occasionally small insects, snails, worms, and even occasionally small rodents. This opens up a debate. Should we provide them with animal origin foods? Regarding protein-rich or animal origin foods, some people offer them in small quantities occasionally to young specimens. According to some sources, this is not advisable as the digestive system may not optimally process these foods. Some people also discuss the animal's physiology, asserting that it is not adapted to this. However, other sources say that animal protein is even necessary. So, the question of supplying protein sources is up to your discretion. Next, I'll show you a list of basic or more common foods with their scientific names, emphasizing the edible part, as well as the percentage that should be in the captive iguana's diet to avoid confusion. Endive, Cicorium endivia, French lettuce, Lactuca sativa var, Crispa, Parsley, Petroslinum crispum, Common purslan, Portulaca oleracea, Chaya, Nidusculus aconitifolius, Moringa tree, Moringa oleifera, Dandelion, Taraxacum officinale, Watercress, Nasturtium officinale, White pigweed or Quillite blanco, Amaranthus hybridus, Zucchini, Cucurbita pipo, Hibiscus, Hibiscus sabdarifa, Carrot, Dacus carota, Storage root, China rose, Hibiscus rosa sinensis, Papaya, Carica papaya, Mango, Mangifera indica. As we can see in the list, some examples of beneficial plant-based foods for green iguanas are covered. However, the variety of foods we can include is quite extensive. In summary, we can offer a diet where about 50% of the foods consist of dark green leaves, green leaves, tender shoots, and herbs, while the other 50% includes orange and yellow vegetables, carrots, sweet potatoes to provide beta-carotenes, fruits, edible flowers, and, if desired, supplements such as calcium and vitamin D3, as well as minimal amounts of animal origin foods. We can create as many combinations as we want, always considering if the foods cause no harm, with prior research. For example, I give them a salad of two ingredients without repeating each week until starting again with my list, as shown in the video. That week, they were given French lettuce, Lactuca crispa, and Swiss chard, Beta vulgaris, as the base salad. It's essential to note that we shouldn't give them only green leaves for a long time, only fruit, only flowers, or only herbs. On the other hand, it is advisable to offer previously disinfected and washed foods, and cutting them into smaller pieces will also facilitate their consumption significantly. From time to time, it's also good to add calcium, as shown in the video. It ensures optimal intake of calcium and vitamin D3. Iguanas are prone to health problems like metabolic bone disease if they don't receive enough calcium and vitamin D3. We can also include the typical colorful pellets sold in pet stores to enrich the diet. It's best to feed them in the morning so that, with the help of sunlight or the specialized light heat of the terrarium, they have a good digestion process. It's important to keep in mind that certain plant species compounds may contain oxalates or other antinutrients, so we must moderate them in our iguana's diet. I hope the video has served and guided you on the correct feeding of iguanas. I'll leave you with a couple of videos about animals and nature that I know you'll love. Thanks for watching.